Hey, hey, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Sorry this is late, I literally have just got back from Old Trafford tonight. You can see, already see my, um, uh, what I call vlog reactions. It's a videos um, of me on the way back from Old Trafford on the train, on the channel already. I'll link them in the, well, I'll put like uh, cards, card in screen cards to them. So you can get my um, immediate reaction to it. I'll try and make that regular. If you guys like that, um, smash that like button, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studios. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Um, but yeah, let me know if that was, if that was something that you, that you liked. Um, we'll see me more of it. Um, I will be trying to go to most of the home games I'll travel this season. So probably away games, not so much. So probably what I'll do is for the away games, obviously go back to the normal sort of setting. But for the uh, home games, I will be doing usually doing like a, a post-match um uh, vlog or maybe even a pre pre match depending on on how how popular it, uh, you, you guys think it is but anyway the whole point of this video is actually a post match analysis um of what basically went on now that i've had time to sort of calm down and settle down and man it was really manic in old trafford today really 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 manic and i just think that whoa um overall good performance you know um i want to sort of get i guess start off you know um with the first half really um and Having been, you know, having watched a few of the highlights again when back, to be honest, um, um, the first half was quite cagey. Um, I think that I know a lot of, I've uh, read a few, uh, watched a few reactions, a lot of people were saying about how, um, you know, how Chelsea were quite authoritative and dominant, had their chances. Yeah, they're right. Chelsea did hit the post twice. Chelsea weren't completely outplayed the park. But I think it's a bit of a stretch, having watched a game, to say that Chelsea somehow dominated. Or that even uh, even at Chelsea within a better side, I would argue at a stretch it was 50-50 after the first half. I don't think you could say that Chelsea were the better team. Um, and I think that when you're talking about the penalty that was given, I think that was clumsy by um, Zuma, who I think um, can be a good defender, but I think he just got caught out there. I noticed a lot of times that Chelsea, to be honest, a lot of Chelsea players that got away with, with challenges, they weren't booked. Um, and a few times that United... Um, United uh, could have gotten a few decisions, you know, possibly another penalty, in my opinion, from what I could see from the stadium. Um, so I would I would call it a stretch to sort of say that Chelsea. Um, there was never a time where I felt that United were, um, you know, I watched the game. I was thinking, you know, it's tense, but it's not that United been dominated. You know, when, at the last game I remember seeing uh, Old Trafford last season was against City, and that was it. Where I was like, it was like, you know, City are dominating us at Old Trafford here. They're dominating us. They're playing us the pocket midfield, which will come to later. You know, and that was a question of, you know, uh, you know, when, not if. Um, but in the case of Chelsea, I didn't think that was the case, and I even felt that yes, okay, even if they had scored, people still changed the dynamic. I didn't think that we would have been out of our shells or whatever. You know, I, I didn't think that. I, that's the impression I didn't think that the game went that way um, obviously as we go into the second half um, Chelsea do again I think that initially for the first 10 minutes I think they did definitely start off the front foot I think they kick off just too quickly took us off guard um, almost a goal um, I can't remember if it was uh, Emerson again I think possibly um, but yeah the, certainly for the first 2 minutes I think we had, we had to basically get into gear we weren't ready and I think that that was a problem um but, you know, as soon as 2-0, two 2-0 nil, two nil guys, um, as soon as um, Martial um, scored that goal, that just a nice cross in, good assist, um, and he just comes in there, and, and my goodness, Martial just finished it. He, he really did. Um, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, because only a few minutes later, awesome assist from Pogba, um, you know, who you could argue didn't have his best game, but he didn't have his best game, and he gave he got two assists. So this is the thing I keep on telling people about Pogba is that yes, Pogba still Pogba can play best, we've seen better Pogba, but even when Pogba's bad, you can still see the impact. And this is the thing: sometimes they're levels, they're levels. So yes, we a lot of people hate on Pogba because we know he could be better, but the fact is is that there are players in United, even this United current score right now, that they are playing at their best. And their best is, is is equivalent to Pogba's worst, if that makes any sense, you know. So so there are levels, um, and Pogba's levels might not have been the best today. Although see my match ratings um, in another video, but he um, he stood up, 
um, and that assist um, to to Rashford to essentially killed the game off because essentially at three 0 I'd even argue something at two 0 because at two 0 they just switched off at three 0 um, Chelsea were just wide open they were just running at the game there was no discipline they brought Canty on which which I, I for me told me that he basically he'd, he'd ceded the game to United because it was a question of trying to try and defend um, and then again. Hook wins the ball, drives forward, um, puts a good uh, 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 cross in for J Daniel James. Dan James scuffles it a bit. Thought we got, I actually thought it was going. I didn't see the deflection, and boom, four 0 Good debut for Daniel James. And man, my goodness, um, you know, what a way to get a score sheet. And it's, it's again, you know, we, we've had players that are there, obviously in Marsh and Rashford scoring goals. Um, Rashford had, um, I think, an okay game in the first half. I think he switched on in the second half, which is good. But to get, you know, if your first Premier League start, a Premier League goal, Daniel James, that's great. And that just sort of shows Ollie's faith in the youth now, you know. So um, I don't think we can form the selection. I do think um, that midfield um, is, an on, is a problem. Um, I think that we were... I didn't think that Chelsea's midfield that they started with was particularly strong. You know, Jorginho, I think Kovacic, um, was it Barkley, I think, was in it as well, um, I think. Um, so I didn't think that midfield was strong and yet we, we had problems um, and that's arguably because our midfield isn't particularly, you know, Sans probably Pogba um, I don't think our midfield is particularly strong was particularly strong either um, so you know you could argue Frank Lampard made some tactical issues, you know, maybe should have started Pulisic for example Kante coming on late, maybe should have started Kante um, especially sort of Gugino, um, Zoom. I don't think he had much of a choice, if I'm honest. Um, and Drew, maybe Drew probably would have, you know, Tammy Abraham more pace, I think. But Drew, you know, Drew has harmed United before. It was good in the air. Could have probably could have been more crosses. Because from what I could see, to be honest, I don't think. And this is one of the things I liked is that Chelsea certainly didn't have any aerial dominance. You know, Harry Maguire, from a defensive point of view, United was solid. You know, Harry Maguire especially being good in the air and essentially slotting into our team as if he'd always been there. And this is a guy who played his first game for United, was involved in pre-season, no friendlies. And for me, he was uh, United's man of the match. I think Wan Bissaka was a close second, who was also very good on that right-hand side. I can't see how Ash Young can come back into the side at all. But um, Harry Maguire, for the fact that he wasn't with United in pre-season, you know, he's basically, basically been in United for about just over a week. And sort of slot into that defence as if it's nothing, and to produce that performance, I think was phenomenal. So he gets the man of the match for me, in my opinion. But our midfield does need work, um, and I do think um, it's a bit imbalanced. You know, I couldn't see who the holding midfielder was, who's the ball to carry the ball out, etc. Pogba times of playing quite deep. You know, I'm wanting Pogba to go up. I'm wanting Pogba to do what he did in the outer stage, which was drive the ball, get those assists. You know, that's what that's where Pogba's effect. That's where we want him to be. He, you know the fact that he's so deep, and that may be one reason why people might say he felt he wasn't he wasn't playing well. I think a lot of them is because he was playing too deep, um, and if that's the case, and who should be the deep playing midfielder? Because McTominay and Pereira at times were um, quite high up. Um, and I don't know whether I didn't know who was, you know, who was the holding, who was coming back to win the tackles, the challenges, etc. I, I don't know who was doing that. Um, so that's a problem. Possibly maybe Fred could do that. Maybe he might alternate Fred and Pereira. Fred McTominay, I don't know. Um, that's something that has to be looked at. Because technically Matic is the defensive midfielder to play that role. But he's he's too slow um, right now. Um, so yeah, we we will see what happens. But great start, to be honest. 4-0. I did not expect that. I, my score prediction was 2-0. Um, for it to be 4-0 I said about Martial and Pogba would score Pogba didn't score but he did assist too um, we move on I actually think I think ultimately though Chelsea were a weak inside um, and I do think actually our biggest test is going to be next week I think the Wolves away especially because we lost twice against them last season is going to be is going to be the, be the big challenge um, I think if we can win and I think if we can win big at Molyneux at Wolves because they do step up against the big teams if we can do that then that's when we're talking about that's a statement. That's when we're like, right, okay, you know, we might not win the league, but we can certainly certainly make a push, a challenge for top form, possibly get a trophy. And if Solskjaer can do that with this squad, then, you know, props to him. 
props to him because he's he he's the one on top of all that is given this positive positivity as fans we need to back him we need to support him thanks for listening guys i really appreciate it for everyone who subscribed um shout out to red devil weekly um united man uh, um draco evolve and talk red devils talk other great united fan channels we're all trying to support each other as we just continue to deliver um hopefully good quality manchester united fan content i will be streaming um Parivo Manchester United games as soon as it comes out so to take that keep an eye on that um, again join our fantasy football guys there's a prize 2019-2020 Manchester United official shirt please please, please join our fantasy league it's going to be great um, and yeah follow us on Twitter we United X like share and subscribe have a nice evening guys and cheers